Okay, so after discussing the first question about a transition system and transition function, let us now discuss about the next question. That is, so the next question is, what is a finite automata? This is two marks. And list five different characteristics of a finite automata. Okay. So, so finite automata are nothing but they are a kind of state transition system having finite number of states and transitions. Okay, so these uh, these finite automatas are mainly used to study the behavior of a computer. That means what a computer can compute, which tasks a given a computer, which tasks can be performed by a computer. In order to in order to uh, solve this solve this problem, what we do is we model the computer as a finite automata. That is a FSM having finite number of states and transitions. And we feed the computer with a list of, with a set of input strings. And those input strings constitutes the problem. Okay. So after, after processing each of these input string, if the finite automata reaches a final state, then we say that the automata can accept all the strings and hence the computer, the computing device for which I have created this finite automata can perform this task. Okay, so so let us just write it down. What is a finite automata? So a finite automata is a kind of state transition system having finite number of finite number of states and transitions okay it is mainly used it is mainly used to study the behavior of a computing device okay understood so so it is done so diagrammatically I can say that uh, just a second so diagrammatically I can say that here is a model of a computing device I represent uh, which is built as an abstract model of a computing device and it is a FSM it is a finite state transition system so finite automata so so the, what is the input to the finite automata? That is a task represented as a set of input strings. And on processing this input string, either the finite automata will accept the input string or it will reject the input string. So on accepting, what does this mean? Accept means the computing device can perform the task and reject means it cannot perform the task okay so so this is the first the def definition of a finite automata okay now let us see what are the characteristics of a finite automata so characteristics of a finite automata so let me just write it down so uh, you can see that first thing is every finite automata will have will have finite number of states and transitions okay and secondly and and it will start and it has so, so the second thing is so the first point is every finite automata will have 
finite number of states and transitions. Now, <coughs> so now these transitions, these transitions from one state to another, you can say that it it can be deterministic or non-deterministic. Okay, so can be deterministic or non-deterministic. What does this mean? This means this means given a state suppose I have three states q0, q1, q2 so given a state and an input symbol if I have only I have a deterministic transition possible so q0 from q0 while processing suppose a symbol a I can only go to q1 then it is called deterministic but so this is a case of deterministic so that means the transitions are deterministic with respect to input symbols so in a given state if I have a given input symbol I am processing then in a deterministic finite automata I should reach at a deterministic state okay is a predefined state okay now if but in the other hand if the scenario is like this I have q0 and while processing a either I can go to q1 or I can go to q2 then I do not know what is the exact transition I should follow so in that case the concept of non-determinism is coming and hence this kind of uh, automata is called non-deterministic automata okay finite automata so 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 a finite automata can be categorized as deterministic finite automata or non-deterministic finite automata okay now let's see the th third property of a finite automata that is let me write it down so Just a second. So I can say that every finite automata will have a starting state. So what does the starting state means? So every system has a initial condition. Okay, and that initial condition can be represented as a starting state of the system. Okay, similarly, every finite automata will have a starting state. Okay, so and that is represented. So how that is represented in a state transition diagram? So suppose I have suppose I have Q0 followed by Q1 followed by Q2. Suppose then the initial state of the system I may say that okay Q0 my initial state or the starting state then I represent it with a left arrow okay so this Q0 is the starting state of the finite automata of the finite automata and what does this represent it represents the initial condition the system represents the initial state of the system okay now 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 on processing every string what can happen so so on processing every string the automata will move from one state to another and finally after processing the entire string it will reach at certain states okay now if that state happens to be the final state then it accepts the string okay so you can see that a finite automata <coughs> can have more than one final states okay so if after processing the entire string 
it it reaches the final state then we say that the automata accepts the string okay okay so so every finite automata has a starting state and it can have more than one final state okay and uh, uh, while processing a input string if uh, after processing the entire input string it reaches a final state then we say that the automata accepts the string otherwise it will call that it it rejects the string so how a final final state is represented in a state transition diagram so in a state transition diagram a final state is represented like this so qf with a two circles so that we call as as a final state okay so if i have simple automata which has q1 as a which has two states q1 and qf then q1 is called the starting state because it has a left arrow it to it and on processing the symbol a it reaches the of final state qf and it accepts the string a okay okay so with so with this the this question of finite automata and explaining the properties of a finite automata is completed okay so now let us start a new question